Reflection is not something that is endearing to the hearts of most type A leaders. We don't like to sit still. We don't like to journal. We don't like to sit and think about what has been. We want to take the next hill. We want to see where we're going next. And we want to begin to move the ball up the field. That's what leaders do. Leaders want the ball. And leaders want to move the ball. The problem, of course, is that without reflection, without discussion after reflection, you begin to lose some of the learnings that are vital to effectively moving the ball forward, to taking that next hill. The Piosa helped us to ask the right questions. As we're going through the process of the Piosa on this pillar, one of the questions jumped out at me. It involved, do you ask for a gut check among your leaders annually? Are you regularly asking people to do a gut check? Am I still on board with this organization's mission and vision? Am I all in? Am I ready to take the next hill? Of course, that implies, or am I just going through the motions? Am I just doing this because I feel like I should? Guilt and need are very poor motivators. Short term, they might help you. Long term, they never will. What this helped us to do was institute an annual gut check among our elders, where I have a one-on-one conversation and say, hey, I want to know if you're still all in. I want to know if you're still on board with what we're doing and where we're going, and if you want to be a part of this next season, or if you want to take a step back and to give permission for that. You'd think you wouldn't need permission in a volunteer organization. But when people sometimes are leading out of a sense of guilt, like I should do this thing, or, well, there's a need, so I ought to do this thing. Giving them permission to say it's okay if you need to take a break is the most helpful thing you can do as a leader. That's what the gut check helped us do.